I mean, if we could back off that back light a little bit. So well, I could put a, a bit of shine on it. <laughs> shine off the head? No, no, we don't want that. <laughs> Yours is. <laughs> there, there we go. <laughs> so tell me, going into a trilogy fight like this, does it give it any added incentive? So I'm his last loss. So I know that's eating at him, um, and that's probably the reason why he called me out. But it really has, like I said, lit a fire under my ass, and I have to go in there now and, and obviously finish him and show him, you know, that I'm, I'm the better athlete. There's the points you need to qualify for the playoff, and then there's the statement you want to make to show that you're the better athlete. Which one's more important to you? Um, if I've got to be honest, it's obviously, you know, showing him that I'm... Um, I'm better than him. But I can't go in there and try and force the finish. He's a veteran, man. He's, he's not stupid. He's got the points. He can drag it out, you know, and maybe try and, and win that way. The second time we fought, again, I didn't look for the finish. It came, and the hand's going to catch him again. What have you thought of your PFL experience so far? To be honest, I think it's one of the best kind of um, platforms to be on. Obviously, Bellator, I was fighting once a year. So the training was up and down. I'm sort of like, why am I training, burning myself out? So to have two weeks off and jump straight back into it, um, I didn't really miss any training. You know, I just corrected and just leveled up on what I already had, you know, um, and I, I feel great. I really do. Now getting warm in the background, PFL doing a little bit of video. Hey there. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> All right then. Speak to you later. Love you. Bye bye. Have a good session. Okay, Bye. See you later. See you later. What the hell? Oh, oh my god. god. Oh, what is that? <laughs> what? Oh, idiot. You silly person. You say that, but y'all have nightmares tonight over that fuck down, not me. <laughs> Gota is petrified of bugs. Anything that crawls, nightmare tonight. If someone did that to me, I'd probably, I'd probably cry. <laughs> I definitely would have cried. Just having a little bit of a shake out now, um, doing a bit of pads, a bit of drilling. It's not much else to do right now. Um, the weight's really good, so I'm just kind of having a little bit of a flow, you know, after the flight yesterday, I just want to shake it out a bit. Right. Having my brother here is like, I couldn't do it without him, you know? It's kind of like he's been there every single fight I've had, so if I was to come without him, it'd be very, very weird. <laughs> yeah, my mum's always on FaceTime, my dad, you know, they're coming over, they land tomorrow, so um, like I always say, we do this together, you know? This is not just me that goes into fight. I'm the only one in the cage, but we do it as a team, as a family. a new opponent he was preparing for one and now you have a new does that make a difference ну конечно же совершенно разные бойцы разный стиль несмотря на то что оба ударника конечно тяга имеет колоссальный опыт боев больше опыта серьезных боев чем у меня не может не придать здесь ответственности перед боем поэтому это будет сложный бой where does Dennis see his advantage over Thiago? У меня длиннее reach, поэтому будет возможность работать с дистанцией. Я выше, тяжелее. Задача будет только не устать. Учитывая, что он ударник, конечно, будем стараться больше работать в стойке. Хоть разница в росте есть, но он достаточно быстрый. Буду стараться переиграть его в стойке. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, John. Okay. Tell me about Dennis Goldsoft. I just watched his uh, fight against uh, Hernan Problema. I just need getting smart cage and uh, do what I love to do, hurt him, make him feel pain and uh, get the win. He has opportunities to maybe control the fight and make just three points is enough for him. Uh, and also my side, I have to fin 
finish 100% and he'd finish this fight and they get the job done. He's taller, he's got a longer reach, but where do you think you're better than him? I have nothing to lose. I have zero point. For me, only, only thing I see in front of me is six point. I come to finish this fight, it's a kill or be killed. That's the point. You say you train with Hena. What is that like? Oh man, training with, with Hena is... What can I say? It's a problem, you know? Hena problem is problem, you know? He moves very fast, like a light heavyweight. I love to train with Hena, I love that guy. And he helped me as well for this fight. I'm very happy to, to have him in a, as a partner training. When you get an airplane and fly a lot, we like to go direct to the train room and move. So I was supposed to fight in April, but I broke my collarbone four weeks before the fight. Then I had to pull out, and they, they invited me to, to be in the second show. It's a good fight for us in terms of style. The style matches is a very tough guy as well. A lot of respect for him, a lot of experience. But I think Danilo has a lot that gonna cause him some problems on Thursday. It's looking good, it's looking sharp, it's fast, it's strong. His technique is always on point. Danilo is always training hard, so we're pretty confident it's gonna be a good night for us on Thursday night. Of course, I'm going to start the season to right now, so I don't have points. I don't, I don't like to, to think, to overthink about points in this kind of a situation, because I already have guys who is in front of me because they fought in the first show. So I don't, I don't overthink about the points. I, I, don't, I don't care right now. I just, I just, my focus is doing the fight, and that's it. <laughs> It's a whole different scenario here being involved in the PFL, as you're well aware. With three points facing an opponent that has three points. A decision win doesn't guarantee you that you would qualify for the playoffs. So tell me how you're dealing with it. I was very diligent about, I didn't want to be known as that fighter that kept going to decision. I wanted to finish fights. The only difference is, is you're incentivized to finish in the first rounds. It's like, okay, I know I'll seize the opportunity when it presents itself to finish before the fight. This is not that. This is you force that opportunity because you need to get a first round finish. But that's also the really cool thing that I like about PFL. It's a fair system and I have nothing but respect for that. And that I enjoy because at least I know I came out of that, I'm like, well, yeah, I knew not to get a decision win, and I'm, I'm now in fourth place. But I knew exactly coming out, there was no guesswork, there was no trying to figure it out, or, oh, well, I have this many followers. It's just done in your performance. I love that. All right, so given your particular situation, what do you think you need to do? I think everybody knows what I need to do going against this fight against Wantanabe is I have to get another first round finish. Get that door to open and then knock it all the way down and finish the fight as soon as possible. So we've just come to one of the gyms here in Connecticut. Uh, they've got a few classes on, boxing, jiu-jitsu. This is like a real old school gym and everything is very like how I used to be in my gym. So it um, brings back a lot of memories to see all the little ones there. What age did they start from? Five. Oh, that's cute. And they go up to 15. <laughs> Look at that little girl. Yeah, I started when I was four, so that little girl there reminds me of myself <laughs> when I was younger. So cute. <laughs> and this is a typical Monday where we have youth jiu-jitsu, youth boxing classes. It's real important, I think. This type of awareness of your body, your movement, your confidence level, enormous. It pays dividends for these kids down the line. So whether they do combat sports or not, it's something that will always help them no matter what they play. I just want to say it's amazing to see so many of you in here in the gym um, sharing the same passion as me. 
even if you don't want to be a fighter, it's so important that you stay in the gym, you keep working hard, um, keep your fitness going, stay healthy, and just enjoy it. I hope you were smiling when you were training because that is the main thing about this sport. So as long as you love training in there, guys, keep going, keep working hard, and stay active. But yeah. It's just nice to see so many young kids, you know, just enjoying the sport. And like I said before to them, you know, it's not about wanting to be a fighter. It's just coming in and enjoying training, you know, feeling good, hitting the bag, you know, doing something that you love and staying active.